happy Monday. So this is now the third of a series of weekly Outfit of the Day videos for suit wear. And today I'm wearing the full grey suit. Um, if you watched my very first series, I wore the jacket from this suit. But today I'm just kind of wearing it as a total outfit. It is from Theory. And it is a really nice print because it has grey, white, and black. So it matches with a variety of things. I like it much better than if it was just kind of a solid grey which might be a little bit harder to pair. Um, so it has little black detailing, it's got a black button, and then underneath I'm wearing a little shell. Um, it's from BCBG, I got it from the clearance rack there. They had styled it really differently as a totally casual top, but I think it's actually pretty office appropriate. Um, it has a high neckline, it's a really soft sort of cashmere blend with a lining to it, which is nice because it means that I don't need to worry about wearing a tank top like I usually do. Um, and originally when I purchased it, it actually had this really funky chainmail necklace like attached to it, but I just kind of unpick the stitches that attach the necklace and now I can wear the necklace separately or with it if I feel like it, but it just makes it a lot more useful. Um, so then you can see it's got a skirt. It's a pencil skirt, but it's not a very tight one. It's a little bit more of a looser cut, which makes it comfortable and easy to walk around in. And then I'm wearing my Sally Hanks and leg spray because I didn't feel like wearing stockings. Believe it or not, it's actually supposed to get up to 25 degrees today. So this is a fall, but summer temperature kind of outfit of the day um, and then my shoes are the exciting part you guys have not seen these before unless you saw them in my closet tour they are little pumps with a kitten heel from Todd's and Todd's shoes are obscenely expensive but I purchased these at um, the clearance rack at the whole room room and so they were a relatively good deal and I just love them I love the detailing on them I think they're really pretty and soft and they're made of this really soft suede in a kind of nude taupe gray color like a really light gray I guess um, so yeah, that is it. That is all I have to show you for today. I will see you tomorrow on Tuesday. Good morning, Internet. It is now Tuesday, and I'm re-wearing my dress from last week. This is a Millie dress with the gold hardware that is on the flashier side, which today is a good thing since I have a fancy lunch. Um, so if you remember last week, I wore it with a cardigan from Theory that was very soft, a little bit slouchy, um, definitely like a longer cut. Um, today I've paired it with the suit jacket from my Tory Burch suit that you've also seen before and I like the way they pair together because Tory Burch buttons have a little bit of that darker bronzy gold detailing on the buttons and so I think it kind of pairs really well with the dress you know while keeping it relatively understated especially if I button it up because then it covers the hardware so I like the way that's a little bit convertible um, and then I'm just wearing my usual bag and these shoes that you have seen about 20 times are my Anne Klein iFlex pumps. Great for running around. I highly, highly recommend it. Good morning, Internet. I'm going to wish you a happy Wednesday because that seems to be a trend at my firm. It's sort of a little joke, I guess. Um, anyway, so here's my outfit. It is a little more casual. After really dressing up yesterday, I did kind of just want to wear some pants and something a little looser, I guess. Um, so here it is. The trousers are from another suit that I own. They are by Michael Kors. They're quite a long, sort of straight cut. The shoes are from Coach. If I pull my pants up, you can see them. They have a little bit of a masculine feel, but then they have a really thin heel. They're really comfortable, and the only downside to them is that the little metal buckle makes quite a bit of noise when you walk around, but I still love them anyway. Um, these are the shoes I wore last Friday. On top, I'm wearing a loose, long sleeve top. The sleeves go all the way down, and it's very long um, if you wear it untucked. It's from BCBG. It has a scoop neck that I love, and then underneath that, I'm just wearing a little tank top, like a body from um, Gap. And then on top, I'm wearing a long cardigan with cream trim. You guys know I love my black and cream. So when I saw this out shopping with my mom, it was black and cream, so I had to have it. Um, it's from Jones, New York. It was on clearance at the Bay. Um, it's definitely not a brand that I would think of getting stuff from. I think it's a little bit older in general, 
but I really like getting pieces like this that will immediately kind of dress up and mature an outfit, I guess, in a way. So I really like this, and it's very comfortable. It has a kind of silky feel. It's like a shiny kind of material. Um, and then today I wore my glasses, so they are by Chanel, and my eyes were just bright red. Um, and I thought it would be a really good idea to give them a midweek break. Um, so again, they have that kind of black and cream detailing. I'll show you up close. They have little flowers here, and I just fell in love with the designs. So those are my glasses. And then to kind of make the whole outfit look a little bit more youthful and inject just a hint of color into it as well to keep it from being too monochrome, I'm wearing my Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Lip Stain. Are these called lip stains? Yeah, they're called balm stains. And they're like chubby pencils. And this is in the color Smitten. And it's a really pretty raspberry color. I love the way these wear because they're not dry like normal lip stains. So when you put it on, it feels really moisturizing like a lipstick or a lip balm would. And then it just kind of gradually wears off into a stain throughout the day. So I would say I'm maybe going to like reapply it once and then that's probably about it and it will stay that pretty bright pink color all day so that is it i will see you tomorrow on thursday one good morning internet so today i'm wearing a slightly more traditional masculine looking suit i suppose um i'm wearing my brooks brothers pants suit so it has a blazer with the gold buttons um and you know that kind of classic style and i decided to wear a button down i think i've shared my thoughts on button downs with you before I'm not a huge fan. I think they're more made for a man's body than for a woman's and on me at least I know I struggle to have them hang properly and be properly tucked in and just to have it look good. Um, that said, these ones from Jack Wills are some of my favorites because the cotton is very soft and they're tailored really well but in a kind of loose way um, which makes them a little bit more versatile and a lot more comfortable because they are just really soft and they don't feel too structured. Um, so underneath this one I'm wearing a little shell, this one's from Uniqlo, and that is my favorite way of making button downs work for me because it allows me to have an extra button untucked and I find that it just hangs better and is more flattering, especially around the face, a little bit less severe than a super buttoned up shirt, but you're not flashing everyone accidentally or not accidentally by having that button open. Um, it also really kind of takes out any transparency, transparency issues out of the equation because if you can see through the shirt, all you're going to see is the tank top. So um, just to make it a little more girly, I've paired it with my key scarf from J. Crew, which I've pretty much totally fallen in love with. It goes with a lot because it's neutral. Um, and I like the idea of mixing prints like this for the office. Um, it's still, you know, really classic because it's not colorful. There's just that kind of dark blue and then the black and white and they kind of complement each other. I think it looks sort of interesting. And then the line of the scarf is just kind of nice. It adds a little bit more femininity into the outfit in my opinion. Let me just put on my jacket so you can see what the completed outfit looks like. Um, the aim was, however, to have it look good without the jacket because I find a lot of people do not wear their jacket in the office. So I'm being sent for some external training today though, so I want to look good because if I look good then the firm looks good, right? A little career tip of the day, I suppose. Internet, so it's now casual Friday or jeans day, so I'm wearing jeans as people at my office seem to. So these are my page skinny jeans that you guys saw last week. I'm so in love with them, how they fit. They're very comfortable. I love that they have stretch in them by the end of the week. That just feels really good and comfortable. Um, and then I'm wearing my Todd's little loafers because they have those plasticky bits underneath for grip. But they're just really classic and I love them. They're very comfy. Then I'm wearing a top from Banana Republic. This is new. My mom bought it for me and it was her idea to sort of pair it with the scarf. So all props go to her. Um, but it's just lace and simple and it has little cap sleeves and they are so pretty because they're actually sheer. So you can see a little shoulder through them if I took off the cardigan, which I probably won't. But like let's say for after hours or something like that, I think that's super cute 
and girly and it's just a really simple cut with really nice quality lace so um, you know five out of five to Banana Republic for coming up with really cute shirts to wear underneath suit wear um, and then I'm just wearing a scarf from Zara you guys have seen this one before it has a black background which I like because it makes it a little bit easier to pair with things like with this theory long sort of boyfriend style cardigan um, and I just love how colorful it is I'm trying to take advantage of the very last few days of nice weather in the fall to wear things like this and I wanted to wear a little bit more color since it is Friday and I'm trying to introduce those kind of fun elements into my work wardrobe occasionally so that is it thank you so much for watching my outfits this week and I will see you guys next time bye